So, hello there, or my beautiful guys, gals, non-binary pals. I'm Danny, and today we're here to draw something. It's down there in the name of the channel. Anyway, so, as I woke up today, uh, I had an epiphany of sorts. I thought about a brand new idea for a maybe a series, if you guys like it. And so, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take an idea, or in this case an animal, and we're going to be drawing it in a realistic style and then in a cartoony style. And kind of comparing the two, if they can be compared, I mean, if you think about it, they're completely different styles and techniques, but this is just to see how uh, both styles can be used to represent the same thing, the same image. And today we're going to be doing that with a horse. Beautiful, beautiful horse. And as always, thank you for my beautiful best friend Milky for editing this video. He works a lot and I kind of use him as slave as an unpaid helper for uh, editing the video, so thank you. Both our social medias will be in the description, so without any further ado, I hope you enjoy this epic fight. Let's get on to Fighter 1, the realistic horse. Fight! I start off with the realistic horse. And, as I always say, drawing a horse is like making a snowman. It's just putting a bunch of balls together. So, as you can see in the beginning, I just do a bunch of balls to kind of figure out where the horse is going to be on the page. Drawing realistically is very different from doing, drawing something cartoony. Like, in this type of realistic style, you need to just try and make it look as it would look in a photo, like a black and white photo in this case, because I'm drawing in black and white. So that's the challenge here, taking something and trying to represent it as it would be in real life. Hope you like my beautiful realistic horse, our fighter one, and let's see if he can win the battle. Mm -hmm. 
So, now onto the cartoony horse. Again, just a bunch of circles, that's what a horse basically is. Now, with something cartoony, you can go a total, like many different ways. That's why you see on YouTube those videos that's like drawing something in 20 different art styles, and most of those styles are really cartoony. And if you look at different animated shows and movies, they all have a different art style. The style I use here is my own style, and you'll see in a minute, or I don't know if you can already see it, it's kind of inspired by a certain film, a certain film about a horse. If you can name that film, please leave your guesses in the comments. It was one of my favorite uh, films when I was a kid, and it inspired me so much that that's just how I draw cartoony horses now. So I hope you like the drawing, let's see if Fighter 2 can compete with Fighter 1. we're done, here it is, the cartoony horse inspired by a certain film, I, I hope you can guess it, I love that film. Uh, I think it turned out okay, it's not that good because I drew it on a really, really big piece of paper, like this is it next to me, because as I draw something realistically, here, I like to use big pieces of paper, especially with things such as these. But then, at first, you can see on the back of the page here, I tried drawing it the cartoony really small, but then, if this is a fight, I thought it was only fair that our fighters were of the same size. Maybe if this turns out to be a series, I'll just pretty much uh, try and make it like not that big, but not that small, to kind of give both drawing styles a chance between the realistic and cartoony, because I feel like with this type of drawing, I'm more comfortable drawing big, and then with this one I'm more comfortable drawing smaller, so that's something I see, that's why it's good to make series out of these things, because you learn as you go. So, I hope you like the fighters, and please vote in the comments which one wins the fight. Which fighter? Fighter 1? Fighter 2? Please leave your answers. And now we're done, we already made everything we had to do today, so with my filthy charcoal -y hand, I say goodbye, subscribe if you want to see more of these things, I don't know, leave a like and I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye!